Thanks. I thought some animal did that. He had me flat-footed. Who is boy? I don't know. Who are you, boy? What you looking for here? Hunani, have a cornini. Not understand Swahili. He must speak some language. Try Gober or Hapu. No. Boy's tribe from west, across Mayenga River. That's over a hundred miles away. Are you sure? Play from river. Cape Buffalo. Near hills in the Gomba. Well, I'd still give a pretty penny to know what I've got around here that bring a native boy over a hundred miles. And then make him try to kill me. Him try to kill because him frightened, boss. Well, so was I. Come on, boy. Ciao. Um, eat. And... Lobster in Gombo country. Well, my assignment calls for getting baboon pictures. That country. People and animals both dangerous. I still got to get the pictures. Bob take boy back. It's only a Mbuto. He may be only a kid, but he got her on his own. Maybe not so lucky next time. Well. Well, okay. I hope he doesn't cause any trouble. Bob make roar like lion. But have good heart. <laughs> Say, what happened to that head barrel you promised me? He come from Punya. Chim lead him. Chim's bringing him. <laughs> we'll be lucky if he ever gets here. See here. Chim, leave boy alone. Not bother you. Fiaku, wanna bar. Jumbo. Jumbo one. Sheena, I don't want to hurt the old boy's feelings, but I can't take six months to get the Nogomba. Bob, value of head men here and here, not in feet. I'll trust everything to you, Biako. Get the bearers and be here at dawn. Leave at daybreak? That one of day. Thanks for making the arrangement, Sheena. Sheena, go now. Meet you in Nogomba country. Come, Jim. bag. You men, move him over to that tree. Put him by the tree. Biako, I'll get my medical kit. This man is very sick. You watch him. Yeah, you mean voodoo. 
I thought the lion had me. Thanks for having saved my life. From the lions, perhaps, but... What that boy had in his grease grease bag seemed to do the trick. Frankly, sir, uh, I thought you were a goner. What medicine? Tell me, you're doing in the jungle all alone. Excuse me, I should have introduced myself. I'm Dr. Becker from Bern, Switzerland. I'm here trying to find out the source of the Boca drug. Boca drug? Many years ago, when I was a young doctor, an intern, I saw a dead man literally brought back to life by a native drug in Johannesburg. All we knew, it was called Boca. Wow! This boy out! Boca! Where did you get this drug? Where, what type are you from? Doctor, I, I... I don't think you'll have any luck. He won't talk. We haven't even been able to find out his name. But I have got to know. I worked many years to make this search. I know I'm near to, uh, to discover what I'm after. Doctor, I'm going to send you back to Nairobi with a couple of my men. After you've rested up, you can get together a safari and try again. I'm not a rich man and no one will finance me. I, I suggest you give it up and try again later. No, I will try alone if necessary. I'm afraid you won't get very far, Doctor. That lion isn't the only wild animal you run into. Please take me with you. When this boy reaches his village, I will find my secret. I, I have an assignment, Doctor. I can't delay any longer. Please, move on, Mona. Yes, Biako. Bob may roar like lions, but have good heart. But Sheena, first the boy, then Biako, now the doctor. I'll never get my pictures. You okay, boy? You too? Sheena, what? Yeah, I'm all right. I guess. <sighs> Tell the boys to wait a minute. Come on, doctor. Let's go. I knew you would take me with you. I say to myself, the hunter has a roar like a lion, but a good heart. <laughs> <laughs> I know how anxious you are to get to Nagambo country, Doctor, but it's not often I get a chance to take a picture of a baby rhino with its mother. I'm hardly in a position to complain, Mr. Raven. After all, I'm here only due to your kindness. Doctor, move away from the camera quietly and slowly. Here comes a bull rhino. He's liable to charge anything that moves quickly. Bianco. See if I can frighten the boy. not move. You better let Dr. Becker look at him, Sheena. Dr. Becker? Well, yes. Remember I talked to you about him. You were in the tree and said... Ah, you feel all right. Oh. Doc, ask your bearer to bring my black back. Quickly, please. Biako, get the doctor's bag quickly. Heart doc. Right, probably. No pulse. <laughs> 
find out a bottle here. Marked adrenaline. The great great back is missing. And the boca drop too. Possibly he got rid of it when you were questioning him, Doctor. He was pretty frightened. He probably stole the powder from the tribe's medicine man. Bob is right. Boy too young to have great great back. Maybe still afraid to go back to the village. Then I will stay with the boy until he reach his village. Then I will find out my secret. Well, in that case, I suggest we all take a rest. Especially you, Dr. Becker. You've got a pretty rough time of it. Now that we're in the Gombo country, we'll all have to be right on our toes. Let's move him. Doctor, we've got to get moving. We've got to get through this country as fast as possible. Oh, thank God for awakening me. But you should never have let me doze off. My patient. Oh, don't worry about him. I took the first watch, and Sheena's with him now. If anything had gone wrong, we would have wakened you pronto. Well, I'll make us some hot coffee and see if I can rustle up some food. Son, if you think the boy's up to it, we'll push on. Shut him up! Boy missing. Sheena missing. My back, it's gone. It's that boy. Should never let Sheena talk me into taking him along. That's why I get the taking along everybody who asks. I'm, I'm sorry, Doctor. I didn't mean that. Just that boy seems to take everything he gets his hands on. First he tries to take my camera, and now your bag. Boy come from Nagomba country. They make big magic. Baby boy look for a white man's magic. What's commonplace to us in our medical practice seems magic for the natives. Um, what a cop was trying to take my camera. Maybe you got a point there, Biako. We'll start looking for Sheena and the boy. Sheena is not safe in this country, not with the Nagambos. Tell the bearers, let's go. The Nagambos regard all outsiders as enemies. Very few strangers get into this country, and even fewer get out to tell about it. <laughs> Men not go. Look for boy. Say he bring bad luck. They stay here. Not go. Oh no, what next? Well, you can't blame them. They're nervous enough about being in the Gombo country without putting up that kid's crazy annex. All right, tell him to wait here. We'll see if we can spot Sheena, but we won't go far. Sheena will be back with that boy. Sooner or later. Toka. All right, let's go. So boy know how to talk. Medio. Why you steal this? When I lost my box, no one knows my medicine. This big medicine. You not steal. And you not run away. Bob, go for a walk? Go for a walk? Sheena, where have you and the goo been? Sheena, sorry, Bob. Sheena watched boy Jim run away. Sheena, go for Jim? Boy run away, but not for long. Boy seems in good condition. Why did he run away? He took my back. He's saying it. You mean he can talk? Yes, Bob. He's afraid to talk to you. 
kiss your camera and bag because he thinks they make great medicine. He'd be a big witch doctor in his village. Not a bad boy. Only not understand. You're right, Cedar. He's just like any other kid that runs away from home to make good. But why pick on me? You stay. No run away. No steal. No, Buana. She makes faint and no good. You show us your village. Show us Boca Drug. I'll take you. Show you drugs. I promise. Good. Now we can get some sleep tonight, and the girl can show us the way to the village in the morning. Go on. Jim, come watch, boy. <laughs> Sheena, what else can happen to me? Now the bears are gone with Nagoo, and this time I don't think he ran away. He was taken by force. Jim gone too. Sheena, tell him watch Nagoo. Rifle gone? Most of food one. I'd like to get my hands on those men. Of all the lowdown tricks. Does this mean that we will abandon our trip into the interior of Nogambo country? I should say not. When I first met you, you said in your profession you couldn't turn back. Well, I can't in mine either. We'll get something to eat and push on. Rocco, get some water. <laughs> Boy, what pictures I could get if that rhino hadn't broken my camera. Bob almost get pictures. Doctor almost get medicine. This is small words, but has much power. <laughs> I hardly expected you to turn out to be a philosopher, Shina. But I have a feeling. Bob will get his pictures, and I will get my medicine. <laughs> hey, look at that. My men saw him with you. Tell me. He was with us, but he disappeared with my bearers during the night. Return him to me and you may go safely. We did no harm to him. He even promised to tell me the secret of the Boca drug. I, Emperor Solid, will keep my son's promise. Return him to me safely, and I will show you secret of Boca drug. Now, for the last time, where is he? 
We don't know. Your men must have frightened my bears away during the night, and they took Nagoo with them. Enough words. Then Tenny. son has not returned. Now it is time of vengeance. Shuma Junga. has not returned, so you must die. From my warriors, I will pick a new son to be emperor when I am dead. Ratinga! Honda! Stop it, father! Stop it! Nugu, you're back, my son. Yes, father. I hurry back to protect these people, for they have saved Nugu's life. Release them. This one, the doctor, bring Nugu back to life after heart stop beating. After heart stop beating? My people not know of this medicine. How do you do this? I will be glad to share all my knowledge with you. We trade secrets. You teach me your medicine, I teach you my medicine. Yeah. Then I send a guard to take you home. Uh, how do you make this medicine? Well, uh, it's uh, a kind of a powder and acts upon glands, adrenal glands, ah. the cortex. You know, I bet. <coughs> it's too bad all secrets not end like this. If only people would learn to exchange knowledge instead of bullets. <laughs> you greet him? <laughs> I should have introduced myself. I'm Dr. Becker from Bern, Switzerland. I'm here trying to find out the source of the Boca drug. Boca drug? Many years ago, when I was a young doctor, an intern, I saw a dead man literally brought back to life by a native drug in Johannesburg. All we knew, it was called Boca. Wow! He's wild! Boca! Where did you get to, Doc? Where, what type are you from? Doctor, I, I... I don't think you'll have any luck. He won't talk. We haven't even been able to find out his name. But I have got to know. I worked many years to make this search. I know I'm near to, uh, to discover what I'm after. Doctor, I'm going to send you back to Nairobi with a couple of my men. After you've rested up, you can get together a safari and try again. I'm not a rich man, and no one will finance me. I, I suggest you give it up and try again later. No. I will try alone, if necessary. I'm afraid you won't get very far, Doctor. That lion isn't the only wild animal you run into. Please take me with you. When this boy reaches his village, I will find my secret. I, I have an assignment, Doctor. I can't delay any longer. Please, move on, Mona. Yes, Biako. make roar like lions, but have good heart. 
But Sheena, first the boy, then Biako, now the doctor. <sighs> I'll never get my pictures. You okay, what? You too? Sheena, what? Yeah, I'm all right. I guess. <sighs> I'd make roar like lions, but have good heart. <laughs> Say, what happened to that head barrow you promised me? He can come from Punya. Chim lead him. Chim's bringing him. <laughs> we'll be lucky if he ever gets here. 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 <laughs> Chim, leave boy alone. It's not bother you. <laughs> Biaku, wanna bar. Jumbo, jumbo one. Sheena, I don't want to hurt the old boy's feelings, but. I can't take six months to get the Nogomba. Bob, value of headman here and here, not in feet. I'll trust everything to you, Biako. Get the barrows and be here at dawn. Leave at daybreak? That's one of them. Thanks for making the arrangement, Sheena. Sheena, go now. Meet you in the Nogomba country. Come, Jim. <laughs> some pictures of this terrain. Look, one An unarmed man. On the fringe of Nagambo country. Simba, Simba! The lion's stalking him. Yapu, get his bag. You men. Move him over to that tree. Put him by the tree. Biako, I'll get my medical kit. This man is very sick. You watch him. doing? I'm trying to put medicine in Chris Chris bag. Yeah, you mean voodoo. I thought the lion had me. Thanks for having saved my life. From the lions, perhaps, but what that boy had in his grease grease bag seemed to do the trick. Frankly, sir, uh, I thought you were a goner. What medicine? Tell me, what are you doing in the jungle all alone? Excuse me. Some animal did that. He had me flat-footed. Who is boy? I don't know. Who are you, boy? What you looking for here? Hunani, have a cornini. Not understand Swahili. 
Well, he must speak some language. Try Gober or Hafu. No. Voice track from west, across my Yenga River. That's over a hundred miles away. Are you sure? Play from river. Cape Buffalo. Near hills in the Gomba. Well, I'd still give a pretty penny to know what I've got around here that bring a native boy over a hundred miles. And then make him try to kill me. And try to kill because I'm frightened, boss. Well, so was I. Come on, boy. Ciao. Uh, eat. And... Fox still in Gombo country? Well, my assignment calls for getting baboon pictures. That country. People and animals both dangerous. I still gotta get the pictures. Bob take boy back. It's only a Muto. He may be only a kid, but he got her on his own. Maybe not so lucky next time. Well. Well, okay. But I hope he doesn't cause any trouble. Thank you. 